Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 67th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to discuss the gets and puts functions. Now in the last tutorial we checked out the get char function and the put char function and we discussed how we can use the get char function to get just one character of input from the user and uh, how we can use put char function to display just one character on screen. Now if you want to overcome those limitations then you have to use the gets and puts functions and that's what we're going to see in this tutorial. So as you can see using code blocks I've saved a file I've given it the name gets and puts functions dot c on line one in this file I have the std io dot h header file on line two I've declared the main function and in between the curly braces I have some code. So on line four I have declared an array of characters and this is a string and uh, I have given it the name str and it can hold a maximum of 35 characters. I specified the size within uh, a pair of square brackets and uh, then on line 5 I have used the printf function to display a message on screen and the message is enter a string and then I have used the gets method to grab the user input and store it in this string variable right so I've done that by specifying the function name which is gets that's g-e-t-s and then within parentheses I have typed in the name of my string which is str right and you have to put a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement so this is pretty simple and then on line 7 I have another printf statement that displays another message on screen and this time the message is the string entered is so now we're going to use puts to display the string on screen and again to do that you just have to type in the name of the function which is puts that's p-u-t-s and then within parentheses you have to type in the name of the string that you wish to display and uh, that in this case is str right and again you have to put in a semicolon to terminate the statement and uh, now I'll click on build and run and show you guys the output of this program so there you go in the output window we see the message enter a string and we see that the cursor is blinking so we have to type in our input now and I'll type in something random like uh, hey guys what's up right and uh, the compiler is going to wait for me to press the enter key right so till the time I don't press the enter key I can type in as many words as I want but when I press the enter key the enter key is or the carrier's return is actually noticed as the end of uh, input character right so when I press the enter key the string recording stops and uh, you know whatever I have typed in before pressing the enter key is displayed to me on screen and uh, I see that on the next line I get the message the string entered is and then I see the string that I entered you know just the way I entered it hey guys what's up right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to discuss something interesting for sure and uh, probably we are going to get back to our discussion on structures and I hope you guys are enjoying the tutorials in this course and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'm going to see you soon.